Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. No, yes. no we're, not, we're not Morse code. Yes. We're not Morse code. No, no one here knows Morse code. Because Morse code, Dan banished Morse code nine years ago. Yeah, I did. I got rid of it all together. Really? What are you he talking did. about? He, Morse yeah, code? He sent a memo to the Navy and said, we're done with this. Uh, not the time for that, guys. Really? Not the time for that. Well, for what? This we're, was nine years ago. So. No. Yeah, it was this, nine look, years ago. Look, we paid Hans Zimmer very handsomely for that uh, intro. That? And, uh, and now his wife is going to get half the royalties here, and she just filed for divorce yesterday. Oh, I thought he killed himself. Hans Zimmer's yeah. wife? Yes. Filed for divorce um, yesterday. How much? Uh, I bet he just. Oh, no, it was Hans himself. Come on, Hans. I bet he just, too old? he probably just walks around his house humming all the time. How annoying would that be? Probably. I mean, how, how, much, how much did his wife take part in composing? Composing? That's one of those things. Probably yeah. zero, but she's yeah. going to get 50% yeah. of everything See, he's composed. That, I, don't agree, I don't agree with any, any divorce law. I think it's garbage. <laughs> like, again, we like, know you, it comes we know down you to, don't, Jared. Know, You're on Jared. number two. Hey, it comes down to this. It comes down to this. Did his wife compose any of his songs? No. All she did was marry the guy. Who gives a fuck? It's true. It's you true. Don't get, you don't get anything. Uh, you shouldn't she, get she anything. She does now. She, she gave him support during it. So, look, man. Oh, support. If she I'm wasn't, sure if she wasn't was, blowing Hans was, Zimmer properly, right? Because let's face it. She probably did call him Hans Zimmer while she was having she sex. She probably with him. wasn't. And that's why he's filing for a divorce. Here's, he's like, motherfucker. Here's the thing. I've wasted. If Hans Zimmer wasn't getting blown the way he was, could he have come up with the Lion King score without it? I begged. I, I would I would beg to differ that. It, did that he do he Jurassic would. Park too? Yeah, he did Jurassic Park. No. Oh, did was he? That John I mean, Williams. he did everything. He did, uh, he's done yeah. everything. He Hans Zimmer's everything, done everything. He said. Hans Zimmer's done it all. He's, yeah. <laughs> this is Zimmer we're talking about, Dan. Yeah. God he damn probably, it. Who, whoever did Jurassic Park probably got it from Hans Zimmer's trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. He did. Uh, he was like, man, what are all these scores here in the fucking garbage? Oh, yeah. that's the shit that he I did think Gladiator. Trash. He did Black Hawk Down. He's, okay. He's, he's done everything. It's he, Zimmer, brother. He, he doesn't need another one, is what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure John. I mean, John Williams did Star Wars, like all Star Wars, right? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. John oh, Williams okay. did Star Wars, yeah. All but then he's right. done. Again, he's done I some other wish, stuff as well. I just wish the the divorce court would start where the judge just looks at the wife and goes, "Okay, justify how you own any of this." So I just and, wanted to start, that, like and that. that's what I would say. I would say, "Hey, man, pull up." I, if I were her and her attorneys, I would say, "Pull up the Lion King." So right during Akuna Matata, whatever the fuck it is. She says, look, I was, I, I was blowing him. I was fucking blowing him right there, <laughs> and I put a finger in his ass. That's what gave him the inspiration to come up with that part. Ah, that's a stretch. So, look, if we're looking at uh, his, his career, um, I mean, he did Driving Miss Daisy, dude. Screen a little dee. Screen a little dee. Screen a little dee. It's what? Old? Yeah, Jurassic Park was John Williams, by the way. I don't, Thank know, you. I don't know why I would have known that. Uh, I, didn't, I don't I didn't either. Those are the uh, yeah, only two Jurassic composers. Park didn't have a Hans Zimmer feel. Uh, no, it really didn't. Yeah, you're right. You're well, right. It really didn't. No, it I mean, it didn't too sound happy. It didn't sound like Hans Star Zimmer Wars. is. Hans Zimmer is very fucking, you know, dramatic. Yeah, and Alec. By the way, here's the point where you would type in Hans Zimmer career and just just scroll through it. Um, you know. <laughs> what. I think because I'm I'm trying to find his all the the movies he's done. I mean, it's got to. I mean, Crimson Tide, The Last <clears throat> Emperor, The Rock, Broken Arrow, White Squall, which I believe won an Oscar, didn't it? Yeah, Hannibal. You got to think. I, I bet you. I bet you. Hans's fucking minimum is about a mil. You think? Like one mil flat. Like yeah. it's got to be more. You, it's got to be more than that. He did well, Hannibal, I mean, Gladiator, I The Last Samurai, <laughs> The Da Vinci Code. Um, I mean, The Simpsons movie. Oh, Dun wow. he did Dunkirk, Interstellar, uh, The Thin Red Line. Oh wow, as good Sherlock as Holmes, Pirates of the Caribbean, as good the as the Batman gets. franchises. Pirates of the Caribbean, okay. The Dark Knight Rises. Pirates of the rises. Caribbean probably paid him the most. Yeah, the, let's see what's his. Let no, The Dark Knight it. Rises. It's got to be The work. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, what was the budget for that for for Zimmer? But I, I think that made the most money, right? Because he yeah. gets. Uh, you, I'm sure he for, gets as a musician. Yeah, you get. Uh, uh, fees on the back of that through ASCAP. So, Jesus Christ. I mean, he performed at Coachella last year. Yeah. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, my God. He, he's self-taught, by the way, too. Holy he's self-taught. 
Look oh. at that. Now, yeah. that's your only argument. So you could go into court when she says, hey, I want 50. And he's like, I'm self-taught, bitch. You didn't teach me anything. So what's the plan? Yeah. What's the plan for all of these uh, 45-year-old housewives Holy who have no shit. money and no skills? I, I, I know the answer for that, by the way. So what happens is, and because it happened. The Handmaid's over, Tale, they just get like. Absorbed into some fucking crap. Oh, no. So that they so it happened to a buddy. Guess of mine. his net worth. What's his net worth? Get guess. Five hundred million. Ballpark it. Five hundred. Uh it's two. Two hundred. Two hundred million. For Zimmer, dude. So she's getting a hundred out of this. For composing. Yeah. That's a that's a fucking big, big price tag. He's the best in the biz. Composer, and and we were lucky to get him at he the is. price we got him for that opener. So next time you bitch about that Hans Zimmer opener, remember how much he's worth that in is, this that world. Wasn't Hans. And to answer Dude, your question, that, Dan, that was um, what that happens was when a studio Wimmer. Exactly. You found like him this. in an alleyway. No, 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 that's, not what I'm, divorce. that's not what I'm asking. No, it is. You say, what, what does she do? Right? Right. Right. So but what, I'm saying in his plan where the wife has no, uh, no entitlement. To anything that the husband has made, if he's the sole breadwinner, right. that whole time, yeah. What do we do with all these poor forty-five-year-old women that have children and no job skills? Yeah, well, see, so Jared hates forty-five-year-old women with kids; can't stand it. Right. <laughs> so therefore, that's the wrong person to ask. Yeah, like, I'm, you not, need to I'm, ask I'm asking. I'm person. asking rhetorically though, because I know he doesn't have the answer. <laughs> Look at him. What would you say we should do? Dan? I can say what they do in real life. What they do in real life is give the woman half of the estate. Yes. So they give him does, half the estate. Does Hans Zimmer have kids? I'm does sure. He does. Sure. Yeah, because we sacrifice our best years for you, fucking losers, and then you guys turn into daddies. Is it really for us, or is it more you guys have this like this need to create? No, so, it's I mean, just a it's problem. Kind of, it's it's kind of us just trying to shut you guys up. Yeah, like, fair, fuck, fair. Man. So can you cut his <laughs> feed really quick while I talk? <laughs> <laughs> the point is. It's so <laughs> shitty that guys just get better looking. And as you're sitting there, especially as a white blonde lady, you just disintegrate at such a fast rate Yeah. as you guys are getting hotter. Yeah. Even the gray hair, everything. There is yeah. nothing stopping yeah. that train to hot daddy, right? And then what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, we've given our best... Years. As a white lady, yep. like we're done at 35, right? So like we've given those hot years to you guys. Yep. Then you leave us in the dust. You got to have some cash for that, Jared. It's kind of like I LeBron when he went to the Miami younger. Heat. He gave his best years to Miami. What, yeah. What'd you say, Jared? I said for something younger. Yeah, exactly. for, something, for something younger. Exactly. So like, but we can't go young. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. We need you something. Can. There's yeah. a whole cougar underground. Yeah, because we have half of your guys as a state to lure them in, you exactly. fucking idiot. Yep. And so th where this is going is to answer where those women go after that, they take this huge divorce settlement. They go after a younger guy. They don't have kids anymore. And then they travel <laughs> all the time. You bet. One of our friends, Clayton and I's friends in L.A., he checked out when shit wasn't going well. And he was just like, fuck it. Married an, an executive's ex-wife. All they do is travel around the world, spend money. And she's 15 years older than him. And he enjoys his life. Good for him. They're not having kids. They're not doing anything. I would be an amazing housewife. What? He would be. I would be an amazing housewife. Oh yeah, <laughs> you would be. You'd be. Would yeah. you though? Yeah. He oh would. hell yeah. Because yeah. there's that. If you're, oh. if 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 she's going to if she's going to work and making you know let's say she makes a quick like 15 mil a year. Like, <laughs> okay. Sure. Like yeah. Like every day that she goes to work, I'm like, I'm going to do something cool to the house. Like I'm building an outdoor fucking kitchen. I'm like, when she gets home, everything's fucking set up. I'm like, hey, there's a bottle of wine and a bath ready for you. I'll see you in an hour. Go unwind. You know, you make her life the best be life. Like yeah. She's like, and she's like, oh my God, you're so cool. Here's a Ferrari. Thank you, honey. Well, you know, well, well, let me ask you this, Jared. Since you're, you know in, what, since you're in the quarantine, though, have you been doing those things now since you're at home all day? Yes. I mean, I built a new studio. I fucking got the backyard all cleaned up. I got rid of my entire storage room like, and went through you know, 15 years' worth of bullshit. Oh, wow. So, you're, 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 yeah, you're using this time wisely then. Yeah, to upgrade. Okay, I great. can't sit still. That's fine. So, so they, if I was if I was a housewife, I would always be trying to upgrade, like make it cooler when she came home somehow. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. So is his feed coming through the way that it's coming through for us? No. No. Okay. I, I would imagine no. not, right, Jamie? So his video feed is definitely 
Yeah. And I'll get the same sound from this side. Sure. But his internet feed's actually a little slow. Okay. So your internet feed's a little slow. We'll put the Al Jazeera logo up above you today. And then I think we're getting wirecast. Yeah, we'll have our wirecast issues fixed tomorrow. In the meantime, let's get to the news, shall we? Yes. First and foremost, the federal government is now looking at sending people who have already been exposed to coronavirus back to work. According to the Associated Press, people could start getting back to work as early as this week. The proposed guidelines prioritize getting essential workers back to their jobs. In addition, Dr. Fauci, who we love, we're big Fauci Fauci fans. We're big Fauci fans over here. And others are working on post-quarantine procedures to make sure this type of rapid spread doesn't happen again. This would include rules for the future. And uh, Dr. Fauci even joked uh, that we should never shake hands again. Uh, <laughs> frankly, Dan, do you, is this a world you want to live in? No. It's not. No, I mean, it's... Wait, let's... What? Like, I, I, I said, but, but let's, let's, uh, let's kind of unpack like, the big hot-button item right now that everybody's talking about is you had all these states and governors and mayors that implemented... Shelter in place, correct? You know? Yeah. The, sh- the shelter in place. Yes. That was, that was just a guideline. Like, hey, stay home. But then you had all these cops and even private citizens attacking people for you had the, the paddle border in Malibu that was the only person on the ocean that the sheriffs actually like went out of their way to arrest. You had an altercation in Tennessee where a man assaults a bunch of teenagers and starts punching a a teenage girl like while he's yelling that they're supposed to be social distancing. So, so what's the, the legality here? Like your, your state declared a state of emergency and said, Hey, you know, try and shelter in place as much, but is it the private citizens and is it the police (laughs) job to enforce this? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, who cares? About any of that. What? Like, about what? Like, like who? Like, it, I, I think it's unenforceable. I mean, I think that's the picture you're painting, and I agree that it's unenforceable. Like, in any, in any well, kind of- well, I, I, think, I think some police departments are taking, are taking this out of context. Is it an enforceable thing? The governor saying that they recommend a shelter in place, does that mean the cops have the right to go and arrest you if you're sitting out by yourself well it depends on if it's an order or if it's uh like during a state of emergency the governor has a lot more power than normal it's almost like it's not like martial law or anything like that but it's like they have power to shut down businesses to to set curfews all sorts of stuff so i actually don't know and i I guess it depends on by the way i think this is the biggest problem with this right because i i read this story last night i think you're going to have governors like like cuomo who Mm are going to say, no, there's still people dying, therefore I'm keeping my state shut down. Right. Where uh, yeah. Trump, Trump could get on and say, look, we're open for business in, uh, on April 30th, and that's it, everybody go back to work. But each governor of each state is going to look at their own problems um, and say, no, I'm, I'm going to keep my state shut down, and how is that enforceable? And now you have to combat each governor that's going to try and inflate, yep. you know, that's going to inflate their actual data to get the attention <laughs> correct Because that's what it is it's an attention grab yeah you know how how can i make myself the headline today so it's like which one is actually doing this for the better of the state rather than just for themselves and again though this is this is the big question right now i mean if you look at social media it's on fire with this constitution argument yeah like is this is this legal for police to do let alone the the fact that private citizens are out like assaulting people over this like you couldn't be more fucking backwards like i saw there was a video yesterday morning of two teenagers driving and like uh two older people like stop them in the neighborhood and then start yelling and like punching into their window yeah about how they're supposed to go home it's yeah. like dude this is fucking ridiculous yeah it's crazy and it, it, i think the biggest thing is you got to look at it from president trump's standpoint and say all right guys we're sending you these checks they're, they're coming within the next 10 days to your house if you're not back to work by may 1st we're out of money at that point we can't cut you any more fucking checks um, I, I read a statistic mm-hmm. yesterday that said one third of rent wasn't paid mm-hmm. um, in the country on April 1st. 
to to their landlords and shit. And it's like, man, you can't keep going like this. The biggest holdouts to me are probably going to be Gavin Newsom in California, Cuomo sexual yeah. in New York, um, Ohio, and, uh, uh, Michigan, I think Michigan because they they have another big high death rate and possibly Louisiana. Um, and I think Louisiana, yeah, but Ohio's governor was also one of the first to try and jump in front. Correct. So I kind of think Ohio might even get uh, spiked in the yeah into the 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 heat of this. So what happens when let's say let's say those five states, including Ohio, forty five states go back to work, and then mm. these five just won't, knowing how much that's their prerogative to do so. Right, and that's what I that's what I say. I mean, it's the, so what you're talking about is the underlying issue, in my opinion, with the United States in general, which is that it's grown too large to govern under one governing body. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a proposal for that, but let me give a couple of examples of what that means first. So the first thing is this situation, right? So you can't uh, impose a single federal law for every single thing when states are declaring uh, states of emergency, governors are declaring states of emergency, because everybody has their own unique issues that they have to deal with in their own way. So, and Trump's been actually pretty reasonable about that. He said, and even Fauci was talking last night about how we have to do, like, they said today, Fauci said today, that there are parts of the country that by summer will be back to quote unquote normal mm-hmm. with some caveats because they just don't have stuff going on like other parts of the world do. That makes sense and that's one way to handle it. The problem is unless you're in an emergency situation with all hands on deck to govern something like that, to have to micromanage every single fucking one of 50 states plus whatever it's next six to territories, there's no way to do it. It's the same thing with concealed carry, right? Right. So... <clears throat> Conservatives have for years been clamoring for a a federal concealed carry law. And from my understanding, they haven't cared how difficult it is to actually get that federal permit. They just want one rule for everything, Mm -hmm. Um, which is reasonable. And it should be shall issue and not may issue for those of you who follow that shit. At any rate, back to my original point, I I think the United States has become entirely too large and too disparate to govern under one body. So my proposal is all the people that want to live the way that the founders wanted us to live right or th- to carry out their idea i suppose should live in one part of the country and everybody that wants like free shit and no guns and cancel yeah, cult their and, own. Yeah. and cancel oh, yeah. culture and all that other bullshit they can live in their own country and we'll see how long that country lasts yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it won't because there will be country. Their country won't have a defense system they, at all. They won't have a defense. They won't have natural. Those resources. people will not. Yes. They, yeah. Yeah. They won't have any guns. Yeah. They won't have anything. Um, so that's all I'm saying. They won't have nothing. Like even if we, I would be okay with uh, with us, and I say us because I, it's pretty clear which group I would be in, um, providing national defense for the other country. I'm fine with that, but I'm just talking about economically. They don't get any of our money. Yeah. So. Yeah. You take that system that you think is the best system. Where well, they have to pay. They would have to pay for our defense in some way. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And so how would you like that to be divided? Is that a north and south type sitch or is that an east and west? Uh, I don't really care. Well, it'd be California against all of us. Well, I would say the entire. <laughs> Pretty much. I would say the entire western seaboard. Seaboard, yeah, because you can extend that to Oregon and probably yeah. Washington. Jared, yeah. you're from Washington. Yeah. Is, it, is it pretty much yeah. the same way there as California? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, Seattle's almost just as bad as San Francisco. Yeah, if, yeah. if, right, you, split, about if you split the three states in half lengthwise mm-hmm. and just take the left or west side, it's all um, aside from Riverside and Orange, all the counties are liberal. Yeah. Up and yeah, down that the is coast. that is correct because once you get into central and eastern Washington, that's all farm country. Yeah. And those are all they've been, those are all they've, super, they've been yeah. trying to secede from Washington for years. Oh, great. Like they want to make their own state called yeah. Eastern Washington. I'm fine with that proposal. That'd be great. Um, but the point of all that is, is like, but I, here's, I genuinely believe that the United States has grown too large and disparate. Like there are too many people with different cultures, life experiences, and, and education problems. Education level. And, I yeah. Mean, yeah. All the <laughs> stuff that like, there's just no way to govern all those people. Well, here's, here's, here's another question though. And this comes down to almost a prediction is we know Gavin Newsom is going to be a drama queen about this. He's going to drag it, drag it on as long as he can, which, you know, he'll keep Californians out of work. When, when this starts imploding on him, it's not going to be his fault, right? It's Trump's fault. 
Yeah. It's like when he when he faces yeah, yeah, yeah. LA yeah. County rioting, <laughs> it's like again, this goes back to that a few episodes, a few news ago where I said accountability in in our politicians, like are the Californians going to blame him and say, hey, did you really make a good decision based on the data? Because we want to check you. Like well, Human beings don't make decisions based on data. The- human beings don't make decisions based on data, though. They make it based on emotions. That's why we're letting our economy exactly. get ripped to shit over a bunch of yeah. elderly people, yeah. essentially. Yeah. I, I, again, I say this every time I mention that. I know it sounds crass and, and, and uh, you know, mean or whatever the fuck, but that's what we're doing. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yes. and to your question you asked before, I was actually yelling at some people on Joe Rogan's post today about some of this stuff. Like, I would rather humanity just go extinct than lose what it means to be humanity, right? Yeah. Uh, I, not that I'm against evolving as a culture, <clears throat> but that's, that kind of stuff takes hundreds of thousands of years. The idea that in a single generation we're not going to be touching each other anymore is crazy. I, I'd rather the world just not exist. Same. Like, uh, what's the fucking point? If that you point? can't be a human being yeah. um, and have ha- human interaction with people. <clears throat> yeah. What's what's the fucking point? Yeah. Of so, I mean, look, we're, we're, we're letting we're, we're making a conscious. It's the weirdest thing about evolution. It, the difference between uh, natural selection and then like selective breeding, for example, like what we do with dogs. Mm-hmm. Like we two dogs fuck we're like, oh, that's a cute dog. Let's get two more of those dogs to fuck again. And it'll make <laughs> this looking dog. And all of a sudden you have a new breed of dog. Right. Right. So. <clears throat> The same thing happens over time with us, but now we're conscious. So we're, we're making decisions that affect how our culture and how our DNA is going to evolve. So if we decide in this generation to make a decision to go the way of, I don't know, uh, what's the demolition man? Yeah. With no Wesley one touches Snipes. each other. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, we're kind of more like, like, like diving into ready player one. Yeah. Almost, you know, if, if a company released out like the, the ultimate VR like interaction thing right now it would spread like wildfire it would become as popular as the iphone and then all of a sudden this would become the new life yeah 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 and i'm just not down with that i mean i, I think it's uh we're but the the strange thing about it to me is that we're making a conscious decision to do that and we don't like as a culture the royal we i suppose we don't understand uh what the implications of those decisions are because most people are fucking stupid that's part of it but the other part is the government doesn't think beyond its own existence like government began as a service and now it's just become become a means of propagating itself you know what i mean so it's like what are we learning what kind of like i said before we're not using data for anything we're just emotionally making decisions so here here's the decision we're consciously making right now we're making a decision to protect the remaining years of some super old people and at the expense of people zero to 14 years old, basically, because yeah. that's the group most hard hit mortality rate wise by poverty. Right. That's we're making a conscious decision to trade fucking lives that are zero to 14 years old for lives that are 65 plus. I, that's not fucking no. That, and that, that's and not what that's that, not an opinion. You know what that, that comes from? Well, I mean, that comes from America never really having to face, you know, that type of hard sacrificial sacrificial decision. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean it hasn't happened since yeah. what World War two. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it, my final prediction on this, by the way, I think you're going to see a mass <laughs> exodus from California and New York. Those two States in particular, because the people there are already this much. They're this fed up already with the taxes. They were just this close to leaving. I think yeah, this is their final California lose a seat already, like a congressional seat because their population is dipped. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure yet, but uh, look for that. I, I think you're going to see a mass exodus from California in New York because they were they were already on the edge for taxes. I think yeah. this will be the final straw taxes once they and, can't go back to gun, work and gun stuff. Correct. A lot of a lot of people that live in rural uh, New York, like upstate New York and then in California mm-hmm. are just tired of California's bullshit and New York's bullshit. Yes. Uh, back to what you were saying, Jared, about the legality of all of all this. It's not like we're, we're legality wise. It's we're in a very difficult situation now because. You're not just talking about what the beat cops are doing or what uh, what civilians like vigilante justice is going on. We're also talking about the next story, which is where. Yeah, uh, look, if you've tested positive for the coronavirus, yeah. health workers may share your address with the police. Um, obviously, this is to protect all the, the first responders that we can. That's crazy. Uh, well, but from a HIPAA reason, um, you know. 
the, hip, the HIPAA laws exist for a reason, the same you know, reason that uh, we don't have a national gun registry. Yeah. So it's none of their fucking business what I have or don't have, regardless if there's an epidemic going on or not. Yeah. Like if you can, the, the, the point of law for our, our, our law is to be enforceable and clear, right? But you can't make, we're not doing pre-crime shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you don't get you don't, report. Yeah, you don't get yeah. to you don't get to register people because they might Yeah. Do that's 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 basically social uh eugenics. Like you can't do that ever. Yeah. It can never happen. Uh but that's not even the worst thing. I, I gotta talk some shit about Jared Kushner here. Yeah, fire away. Um so <clears throat> he's reached out to a range of health technology companies mm-hmm. about creating a national coronavirus surveillance system that gives the government a near, quote unquote near real time view of where patients are seeking treatment and for what this isn't just for coronavirus for everything right no. and whether hospitals can accommodate them and whether what? and whether four people according to four people uh, with knowledge of that situation it's essentially the Patriot Act but for healthcare correct and and by the way you know why he he's asked for this this mm. is what they have implemented in China and they're saying that's why the cases. Have gone down, so they. I don't care, yeah, but nobody knows if that's even true. Yeah, exactly. I, I understand that, but I, I saw the I watched the test video. There was mm-hmm. like a twelve minute test video of what was going on in China, mm-hmm. and it, it kind of rates you on a color scheme system. It right. was red, green, and I believe <laughs> orange. Um, you mean like the national terror alert? Correct, uh, but for individual humans. That's fucking so stupid. It was the craziest shit I've ever seen. So when they went and tested it on the news over there with people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they were walking up to people at random and one person tested green that they were fine. Yeah. The other person tested orange of like, yeah, they're showing symptoms. Yeah. And the next thing you know, people are walking around with stars of David. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, fuck that shit. Tattooed on if their the, fucking wrist. Yeah. yeah. If, there's, if there's any kind of personally identifiable information involved in that, like if, if they can do it blind, like the way we collect and exploit data is blind. I, I don't like I, I know that you're a fucking dude, a white dude in his 40s married with a kid. Maybe. Right. Based on, 30s, your, yeah. based on based on your <laughs> email, yeah. your fucking search history, all that bullshit. Sure. The porn kind of porn hub. you watch. Pornhub, yeah. Um, Pornhub does collect a tremendous amount of data, but it's you'd be surprised if what... Anyways, we'll get <laughs> on. Uh, <clears throat> but if I was to see one piece of PII, personally identifiable information, an address or a fucking phone number or a name or an email address or a fucking date of birth, any of that shit, yeah. done. Yeah, like you got to fucking go with that shit. But Jared Kushner, I know a lot of you guys are fucking huge Trump family fans, but this guy is a piece of shit. He is a fucking slumlord piece of shit. And the fact that he would even consider something like this means he should be completely removed from government. Like, get the fuck out. Well, it, he's not in government. He has no, no he's official He's a special title. advisor to the president of the United States, and he has a security clearance. So, right. yes, he is part of the government. Well, yeah. Uh, look. And he is a slumlord. Yeah, 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 he is a he slumlord. Is, he is a giant piece of shit. Yeah. He is kind and of his, a piece And his of father shit. was... Uh, I believe served time in jail for it, right? Mm. Um, for that, it's good. What do you? What is that? What is this? Uh, this is coffee. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh. it's uh, black rifle coffee. Look actually. at that! It's uh, <laughs> it's not chainsaw. What's the other one? Not the new one either. What was the one between those? Jared. Jared. Atomic Orca is the new one. Uh, scapegoat. 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 There yeah. you go. Hey, hey, since we're talking about it, let's talk about blackriflecoffee.com. Promo code Drinking Bros twenty for twenty percent off there. Uh, what is that? Does that come in bags or is that can cups? drink? Oh yeah, Get that can drink. Yeah, RTD. Don't w- don't wait for your coffee. Put it in the fridge and be ready to go. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Those are those are my favorites, dude. Um, what is that come in bags, Dan, or is that K cups? Um, but I don't think this is the specialty coffee. ECS doesn't come in. Yeah, yeah ECS cups, is. I, does ECS even come ground? I think it's only whole bean, right? No, it's only whole bean. Yeah, yeah. is that, is that because of cla- your class here? Yeah, like if no, you're, it's because you, you can't buy a bag of coffee for the tw- roast. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Can, you can't buy a bag of coffee for twenty five bucks to get it pre ground and let it sit there for a month. Uh, us white trash folk yeah. only use the K cup over here, mm-hmm. so no. um, you know, blah, you know, pop the blah. cup in. Yeah, as soon as I hear that cup popping, brother, that's when that boner goes up. Um, next up, Bernie is done. Uh, what's next for the Democratic Party as a whole? I can tell you what's next. I can tell you exactly what the fuck is next. They're getting Elizabeth Warren as VP for Biden. Mm. Obama's going to come out and uh, endorse him. And uh, I think Klobi. Klobi's going to be in there probably as Attorney General. And then uh, Kamala Harris. I think Kamala as, Harris, uh, AG. I think Klobuchar, probably Secretary of State. I think State. Kamala Harris replaces RBG after she dies. 
all of this doesn't really matter because he's not getting reelected. Yeah. Is there yeah. any way besides <clears throat> Michelle Obama that Biden would could possibly win? I think that's the only question we're left. No, with. and I think. Uh, there's a couple of things that kind of let us know what's going on behind the scenes right now. One is that Bernie's senior staff was super pissed off that he decided to call off his campaign. Really fucking angry, yes. And I don't know, like, I don't know if they were angry that he stayed in too long or that he didn't endorse Biden or whatever the fuck. They, they were angry that he stayed <laughs> in too long and uh, these guys were still moving around to different states and mm -hmm. shit. And it was unsafe because of the <clears throat> coronavirus and everything else. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Well, there's that. So his his staff is not happy, which means his that that's usually a good bellwether for whether or not your constituency is happy. Right. Um, and they're not going to be unhappy with yeah. with Bernie because he's their Lord and Savior, Bernie Christ. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. The other part of it is that uh, uh, he didn't outright endorse Biden at all. Like he, he didn't make any overture really towards mm -hmm. Biden that made me think that he was going to campaign for him or anything. No. Right. Now, the good news for Biden is that. The word on the street is from pretty much everybody that Obama's about to get involved. Yes. Now that Bernie's gone. Correct. Yes. Um, and Michelle. They're, they're, they yeah, are yeah. both <clears throat> rumored to be campaigning for him once you know it is announced that yeah. it is official and blah, blah, blah. I don't think he can go Elizabeth Warren, though. Um, I know he wants to reach out to that side of the party, and it would make some sense to do it, but uh, she's one of the most disingenuous and unliked people in all of politics right now. Like, I don't think anybody would vote for her. Say what you want about Kamala Harris. I think she's a fucking dum-dum, and her politics are fucking bullshit, and also she's full of shit. Like, all the stuff she was talking about the last six months, she did the exact opposite as AG of California. That's why right. she got lit up in every single debate. Yeah. But he did say he was going to pick a woman, mm -hmm. and I personally think that Biden being who he is, look, he's got a pretty good hold on the black vote. Yeah. So he doesn't necessarily need her for that. Um, not that that would matter that much anyways, but um, <clears throat> she just opened up a joint campaign fund with the DNC. Who did? Kamala Harris. Oh. Ah. Like this week. Really? Yeah. Which means you, usually that is strictly reserved for people who are running for federal office. Okay. Like usually you only see people, you see campaigns like Biden for America will, will be the name of his campaign. And that campaign will open a joint bank account basically. Uh, with and start a 501c3 or whatever the case she is, is so unliked though um yeah uh it is crazy to me let me ask you this on my bookie they usually have odds i wonder if the odds are up now that bernie is out yesterday um if the odds are up because i would like to place all of my monies on this if that is true by the way if you're on my bookie.com uh, use drinking bros casino that's the promo code now you get 150 percent plus your fucking Money that you put in. So if you put in a grand, you get an extra fifteen hundred. It goes up to twenty five hundred. Bet on poker. You can bet on uh, shit, man. Uh, blackjack. They got slots now. Everything that that Vegas has, they've <laughs> can, opened up online. You can bet on the fucking weather tomorrow. The weather, yes. The weather's become a big one, Jared. You can vote on the weather. What do you think it's going to be in uh, San Antonio tomorrow? What do you got as your weather prediction? What? Fifty eight uh, degrees. Hmm. Why are you look looking? Out the window. Why are you looking nah, outside? Let him look out the window. That's for what tomorrow. he needs to do. For tomorrow, dude. <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't Jared, you care. can bet on it right Figure now. It you can make a lot of I don't money bet. if you bet on it now. Uh, I'm curious is if the odds are up. If so, I'll put some money on that against you. You're going Kamala Harris. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go Elizabeth I, Warren. Uh, logically, I'm with you. I think that Warren makes more sense because Biden's already got the black vote and uh, she. She represents a, uh, a a part of the party that he doesn't really speak to. Yeah, the void feels. The however, void that he however, what part is that? The not, one that just likes liars, or what? The, the, <laughs> the part that likes free shit, basically. Yeah, yeah. but because because say what you real say what you want yeah. about Biden, but he's pretty much a fucking moderate. Yeah, uh, but uh, normally I would go with you on that, but she doesn't talk to young people, which he needs. Not that Kamala Harris does. Yeah, uh, I don't know what they're going to do about that. Because there's no one out there unless he goes like AOC or something that talks to young people. Yeah, oh, uh, and that's just not that's not going to happen. Could you imagine if there's it did? no way? <laughs> no, she would she would oh fucking God. she would stab oh him. Oh my God! She if she, he couldn't let her campaign because she would stab him in the fucking back every single yeah, chance she exactly, got. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, there's no way. So I she like be passive aggressive. Yeah. Like say stupid. Yeah, shit. but also she would probably come out with her own sex scandal with him. Well, I'm waiting for Ooh, that. Ooh, that <laughs> might help. That might help <laughs> him. That might actually. help him. Yeah. 
got to get a little like, dirty in there. Yeah, I just don't think uh, you know Elizabeth Warren can get elected federal. She's there. Both of those women are super unliked. But Klobuchar but doesn't most have the women, name. You know I mean? Klobuchar, <laughs> like, Klobuchar doesn't have the like. Imagine the name that. ID. Imagine that plays out. Biden. Biden announces AOC as VP. He beats Trump. Then one year in, AOC flags a sex scandal and, and he gets impeached and she becomes president. Or I'll take it. I'll uh, take it a step further. Biden just <laughs> dies. Biden just dies. Biden just and dies. Then and then it's AOC yeah. who's the president of the United States. That would be <laughs> banana dick. Would um, he but, ever? But, would he pick Hillary? To be no, no, she wouldn't, <laughs> no do it. she wouldn't do it. I think the only shot he has is Michelle Obama. So do I. Yeah, that, that's. But I don't think she'll do it. I think if she's going to do it, she's going to go for president. That's fucking dumb, dude. He's gonna, he's gonna, if Biden if Biden got elected, he would be a one term president. So why not spend the next four years? There you go. I think she hated it so much. Mm -hmm. Like she just hated being in the fucking White House. Mm, she hated it. Um. Hey, by the way, so I, I didn't find the VP pick yet, but there's a really fun one on here. And I want to get your take on it, on my bookie. Uh, first organization to send humans to Mars. You can bet on that right now. SpaceX is, is uh, the favorite. Blue Origin is number two. Boeing is number three. <laughs> Space Boeing. Force is number four. Space Force. Um, the new branch of military. Russia, NASA, China, United Arab Emirates. Or the rest of the world, you can just bet I on like the rest how, of the world. I like how the field has a better chance than the UAE does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> That's not good. It does. No, it's um, not. Yeah, but you know what? Like, like <laughs> here's what's going to happen. It, let's say SpaceX is the first to have a, a manned mission to Mars. NASA's going to jump in on it. They're going to piggyback. They're going to be like, okay, can we get one guy in there? Maybe. I mean, yeah. SpaceX is taking a lot of NASA's contracts now. Like stuff will get presented to NASA and the federal budget, and they're like, "Well, we don't have the money for it." And space is like, "Well, we'll do it." So it's happening like that pretty frequently now. <laughs> I'm going to read one more off to you here. This is right. this is peak 2020. I thought we reached it earlier when a reporter asked Trump about Tiger King. I I, I want to change that opinion now and say that we've reached peak 2020 with this on mybookie.com promo code Drinking Bros for these bets. By the way, doubles your deposits. There is death matchups. You ready? We're going to go around the horn here. Who's going to die first? Okay. Um, Betty White versus Carol Burnett. Oh, my Carol, gosh. Carol Burnett. It has to be Betty White. Betty no. White is never going to die. I'm with, uh, I say Betty no, White. I yeah. think Betty White. She's, she's uh, Betty mentally no. gone already. Yeah. Where, where do you go, Jared? You go Carol Burnett? Carol oh, Burnett shit. I thought is you were still saying, out there. I thought you were saying Carol Baskins. I was going to say. <laughs> no, 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 no. I kind of think no. Carol Baskins is going to mysteriously die in yes, the next year. Yes, exactly. No. She's going to live think forever. I think she is. <laughs> I know. I think I know. she is. <laughs> Me too. Like, we all know where she rides her bike. Like, somebody's bound to fucking yeah. carry that Dude, out. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's obsessing yes. over this right now. There yes. is. Like, some so, crazy ass in quarantine that's just like about to snap. Yeah. Is Don't absolutely. fuck with cats. Oh, no. Yes. Like if you think yes. about this, like you 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 <laughs> led this off. You know, Netflix releases yes. Don't yes. Fuck with Cats. Yes. Yep. And then two months later goes Tiger King. Yeah. Just Netflix Netflix was finding a murderer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They're definitely just riling up that cat people base yeah. and like finding the one that will like, actually kill her. Whoo. I'm with it. Hey, I'm with your, it. your boy, Jared, is in this next bet. Who is going to die first, Charlie right. Sheen or Magic Johnson? Oh, gosh. The, oh, wow. Uh, the favorite in this matchup is Charlie Sheen. Yes. Yeah, to, <laughs> to die? Victorious. The odds are minus 200 for Charlie Sheen plus 160 for Magic Johnson. I'd say Magic oh Johnson. Right? I know. I go Charlie Sheen. I go Charlie Sheen on this. <laughs> Magic one. Johnson for sure. Yeah, Is Tom Hanks sure. on there? Uh, hang on. We'll, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll get down to it. The next one. Who will who will die first? Regis Philbin or Bob Barker? Oh man, that oh, one makes me man. sad. But and now is Bob uh, Barker alive I, still? Yeah. So I'm gonna oh, go Bob Barker okay. on this one. Didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, Bob Barker's like 200 years old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 I really yeah. thought he died already. He's super old. Yeah. Uh, who you got in that one, Regis Phil Philbin or Bob Barker, Dan? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like if dogs become sentient, Bob Barker's done. Yeah. Because he argued for, what, 30 years for them to get their nuts cut off. And yep. as soon as they find out what happened, they're going after him. That's so what gonna, I think. I think Bob, <laughs> Bob Barker. Yeah. Um, Bob Barker. In this next one, it's Clinton or Linda Tripp. 
Whoa. Which, which class oh is terrible? Gosh, now stop terrible. Too it. soon. Now too soon stop for that joke. It. Text, too soon for that joke. Linda Tripp, RIP. She died yesterday. Uh, no, the next one. <laughs> she did. She did. She did die yesterday. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Rosie O'Donnell versus Roseanne Barr, who's going to die first. Ooh. These are oh. pretty. Uh, Rosie. I mean, wow. here's Rosie. What, what we know is that whomever dies first, it's going to be of diabetes. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so the, um, the favorite in this one is actually Rosie O'Donnell, which I'm surprised yeah, by. Yeah, I'm thinking Rosie. Yeah. To die? Said Roseanne Barr. I would have yeah. said Roseanne as well. No. Yeah. Although Dude, Roseanne Roseanne's too tough. ghetto. You know? She she probably drinks every night. Like she's like Betty White, man. Yeah. Just yeah. like thirty true. years true. behind. Well, she like, smokes a lot of like, weed actually, which might keep her alive. Yeah. yeah. And Relaxed. Rosie and Rosie is probably doing some weird fucking liquid fucking diet For sure. vegan bullshit. For sure. And is just gonna fucking cut out because you know, she's not eating meat for yep. whatever reason. Well, she doesn't yes. eat meat. She doesn't eat meat, but she does eat fish, from what I understand. Oh, blamo, really? Blamo, 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 blamo. There it is. There blamo, it is. Blamo, blamo, I was waiting blamo, for that blamo. one. Because she's, she's a lesbian, is what I mean. Yeah, because yeah. um, uh, vaginas are like tuna. <laughs> Oof. Uh, the next no, one. It's more like that canned shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like little neck clams. Hey, <laughs> let's, yeah. you know what? Well, let's get Jay to make uh, a fucking <laughs> shirt that's that fucking famous Andy Warhol thing of a oh, can no. of Campbell's soup, but it's canned, <laughs> it's canned shrimp instead. <laughs> canned shrimp. <Yeah. laughs> oh, For all you great. cat people out there. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Uh, the next one, we're getting into some addiction <laughs> issues, and I like this one a lot. Demi Lovato versus Artie Lang. I'm going all in on Artie Lang. On I don't yeah, know. Demi is so I don't know. young. But she yeah, does, she's true. almost died twice, though. So Yeah, that's no. just because she's got a small body, though. Does she? Yeah. Like compared to Artie Lang, he's oh, okay, fucking okay, okay, five okay, foot okay, ten. Okay, okay. Weighs, yeah, yeah. Well, now he's in better shape. But. I mean, like if you're gonna take, you got to take somebody kind of and look at like look how long it took Whitney Houston to OD. So that True, just means huh? Demi's got another thirty years. You're right. Yeah. You're right. No, you're right. <laughs> you're no, right. I'm you're gonna, right, I'm gonna right. go with Artie Lang on this, and I'm going yeah. all yeah. in. I mean, he's already collapsed his whole nose. Yeah, but it's God, it's, it's so back <laughs> to normal now, right? Uh, no, Did he, he get it somebody fixed? was yeah, going to give him give him a free surgery. So we're waiting to see. Because it was disturbing to it was look at. Real for disturbing. Sure. Uh, next up is Jay Leno or David Letterman. I'm going Letterman on this one. He's going to die first, I think. Okay. Um, he already looks like he's kind of dying right now. I don't know. He's looked the same to me for 40 years. The beard. And now now he's got this huge, gigantic Santa I, Claus beard. I have yeah. a hunch. I have a hunch that Jay Leno is much more active than Letterman. Same. He's Maybe. always out like, riding yeah. motorcycles and doing I don't know, but, some yeah, shit. But yeah. doesn't doesn't Letterman work with your buddy? Uh, the race car. Oh no, that's Ray Hall. Bo- uh, Ray Hall Who? racing. Yeah. So like uh, Bobby Ray Hall and his son. Uh, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, he's oh, he's a little it, more. No, no, no Le- Letterman. Oh, Letterman. Letterman owns part of that company. Ray, oh, Ray yes, Hall yes, yes, he does. He does. But he doesn't. He doesn't ever show up. He just kind of. No, he doesn't. I, I don't out. know what he's doing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like Leno's pretty active. Auto racing and 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 like motorcycle driving, like that is active shit for your body and your heart. Yeah. And like I, Leno is doing it a hundred percent of yeah. his time. I could see Leno so committing like, suicide though. No, oh, if I if hey, I had to, if I guys. if I had to pick someone for suicide he, between got, those two, he got any he has everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's you got, if I had to pick somebody got, that would commit suicide personality wise between the two of them, it would absolutely be J Lo. Yes, I any, agree. anybody that really? like I agree with anybody that, that well, projects Canadian. happiness yeah. like that all the time, they are completely dark. Yeah, like yeah. there's something wrong. And with behind that. the that's scenes, true. Howard Stern always talks about what a dirtbag Jay Leno is yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah, and like yeah, he's yeah. Paranoid. He's like a real. Comedian road like used to be yeah 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 for sure road dog time. Yeah. road dog he still does a lot of but he also a fucked shows. a lot of his people over, over oh everybody too. not just sure. Conan but like everybody. his his what do you call it uh, not the producer well I guess it was his producer yeah he fucked her over when he was at NBC the first time right yeah yeah so the closest odds of this next one who will die first Donald Trump or Vladimir Putin mm, Trump I don't How know old is Putin? it's it's hard to say with two billionaires. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know right. What I mean, like they just yeah. they have access to so much healthcare. Okay, and- so Trump is seventy three, Putin's sixty seven. Oh. Man, that's a tough one. They're both billionaires. You're right. That's, yeah. that's a tough one. I would say Trump too. <laughs> ah, but it's Russia though. He lives in Russia. I'm sure he's he's fucked up some shit along the way. Who do you got in this one, Jared? Trump or Putin? Ah, uh, Trump. All right. Yeah. I think I think I think Putin. I mean, if anything. Putin has more of the absolute like uh, knowledge on uh-huh. everything. So if they're hiding, 
if they're hiding certain medicines or yes. fucking cures or anything like that, like Putin can go straight to the source and be like, no, get rid of this right now. Have you, you know? seen Icarus? Anyone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So he's got some doctors on standby. He's got access to all of You're that. You're right. You're right. Uh, and then the last one is this. It's a good one. Uh, who will die first? Ray Carruth. Ray Lewis or O.J. Simpson. Now, if you're not familiar with these names at home, uh, these are all NFL players who have committed murders. Why why would Ray Carruth and Ray Lewis even be in the conversation, though? Uh, So the odds... Like, O.J. is 73 years old or 72? Correct, yeah. So the odds are minus 1,000 for O.J. Terrible odds. Ray Carruth and Ray Lewis are both in their 40s, right? Right, right. Terrible odds. Did you see uh, O.J. weighing in on Carol Baskins? Yeah, which is great. That's a huge... It's called expert testimony. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So, I I think... Huge box of irony. I think we're good on that. Uh, Next up, we got uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I don't know what that noise was, but it sounded sexy over there, That was uh, That was the old uh, the weather out there that you just wanted me to... Yeah, that was a massive... Thunder! Was that thunder? Thunder. Lightning. hi uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is 25% off everything in the entire store. Beds, pillows, mattresses, sheets, covers, adjustable bases, everything is 25% off. Um, if you're saying to yourself, hey man, I don't think I can afford that right now, they got a 36 month pay as you go program, no interest. Uh, so if you sign up for that, boom, it still applies with a 25% off. If you're going to be stuck inside for a long time, a good time to get a fucking mattress and a bone with your lady <laughs> in there and figure it uh, the fuck out. Speaking of fucking, coronavirus may spark devastating, uh, a devastating global condom shortage. Um, and that is, I'm, I'm assuming, for all the people that are fucking right now wow. during the pandemic, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure quite a few people are spending most of their time either in bed or... You know, or just, on the floor, yeah, I don't know. lying it's, down or fucking or whatever. It's hard yeah. to get hard during a pandemic, you know. Is it? I don't know, isn't it? No, no, no not at nah. all. Not at all. Nah. And nah. if you if you are nah. having trouble, we'll talk about that in just a minute. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, all right. We'll, we'll, so all right. a global condom <laughs> shortage condom? is looming for a number of reasons. One yeah. is that it seems like they're being bought at a higher rate. They are. And the other part is is that the countries where they're made, like Vietnam and Malaysia mm. and shit don't have the same access to health care that we do. So they're going to get fucking hammered. Like, they're, they're, uh, their peaks are going to be more intense and longer than ours, probably. Right. So that's what people worry about now. Yeah, and, and I, I understand that. Like, <laughs> ironically, the, the day we got the call that this shit was probably going to go down, you were here, Jared, in Wilmington. Mm-hmm. We all went out to Costco and Sam's Club. You had a flight home. Um, when I was at Sam's Club... <laughs> For whatever reason, you're right. There, there was very few condoms on the shelf, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Maybe people are putting them on their hands and feet when they go in public. Could be. Could be. What if Alex? What if Dan? Fuck what off. if Dan and I? What if Dan and I woke up one morning with the power <laughs> to have every used condom in the last 24 hours appear in your bedroom, Ross? Oh God, that would be the worst <laughs> fucking <laughs> nightmare of all time. Some of them are tied off. Some of them aren't. Some yeah. of them aren't. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. That would be a lot of latex and cum. Oh. Just, <laughs> These are the just, things that Jared this thinks about. Steel smet- I, stench. Speak, I was just going to say yeah. the <laughs> sense of it would be even worse. Speaking, <laughs> like, oh. Speaking of cum, have you ever thought about this? Canada, United States, Mexico. Yeah. What about it? Sorry. The cum flows down. Oh. Uh, if it, oh, if it came down, yeah. I mean, no, no, no. No. Canada, Canada starts with a C. United U- States. M, cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North America oh. spells cum. Oh, all right. I mean, that's a fun thing. Have you ever thought about that, No, nah, not once, actually. No? Um, I'm glad it did now. Yeah. But uh, what I do think about is, would it all come through the ceiling at the same time? <laughs> So all those just no, drop at the same time. No, you just walk into your room and it would I think all it's be like there. when, like in a video game. No, 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 game. no, no. You would wake up. You would oh, wake oh, up, oh. and it would just be like piled. Oh my god! On what you. if it was like all on top of you and everything? You That's couldn't what I'm saying. breathe, yeah. and you had to like get your way if it out of there. Dropped through the ceiling all at the same time, uh. and then you had to fight your way up out of it. That would be the worst <laughs> of all time. Because let's say you were sleeping face up, right? You weren't to the side, and then it just at least. But 10 Jared, or 20 would go to your mouth. You're describing your worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right? Mine, I mean, that's yeah. everybody's worst nightmare. Yeah, if but you especially... wake up with every condom used in the last 24 <laughs> hours, Ooh. this is kind of like 
This is kind of like that theory that Verizon has a secret fucking database of nudes. Oh, dude. Ooh, is that real? Oh, yeah, I'm sure oh, it is. Oh, oh, no oh, way. It's got to be. How, I mean, Could you imagine all, all, every, how many nudes? Every picture that every picture or piece of media or text message that you've ever sent yeah. is in a database. It's, in a, it's, it's just yeah. how it works. Now, it's would in that a cloud. Be, oh. Would that have to be like humans taking it out and putting it somewhere? The, or it's just... To organize it, yeah. I mean, so I'm sure somebody wrote a, wrote someone a, has done it. They just wrote a program. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that, yeah. That can that can see when it's a nude and it pushes it over to a, yeah, a Facebook has drive. That. Facebook has that already. Yeah. So like, shit. Uh, if if that's the case, <laughs> I think that would be your ultimate. Like, I know the Wu Tang album sold for two million, right? One mm -hmm. album, you, that's it. If yeah. you could just sell that one database full of files for Verizon, dude, to raise money for the movie. world. Yeah. Like, oh my god. That's a movie. That's a movie plot like where <laughs> where we hear about you know this secret drive that yeah. exists somewhere and we go on the hunt for it <laughs> forget about nicholas cage looking for the fucking declaration yeah. of independence Na i want i want that real one national drive. treasure yeah <laughs> i want that one drive full of nudes that verizon's hiding from everybody so it's a million terabytes <laughs> if we're gonna do the uh condom thing we should do it on february 15th and here's why okay please 5.6 condoms per second get used on Valentine's Day. Is that globally or oh. in America? Globally. Okay. And there's 86,400 wow. uh, seconds in one day. Okay. Which comes out to like 480,000 used condoms. That's a lot. That's the peak. That's the most you're going to get during the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there you go. So, f all right. All of those coming through the thing. Yeah, dude. Then you have to fight your way out of that. It's like being in a ball pit. You can't really get a grip on anything. No. Oh, God. Yeah, you just got to keep going up. Oh, what it's if you also falling. have falling. balls in there, too? Like yeah. a ball pit with the... With the no, no, no. I mean, I would, I would... Condoms. Come on. I would put... No, no I'm just saying I'm trying to make tacky. it... So, <laughs> no, oh, no, because me. the real... The real handicap here is these are used condoms. So it's not just what's inside of them. It's what's still sticking to the outside. And there's a, quite a few stinkers out there. So, I mean, the smell that's coming through that ceiling. Stinkers? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Jared, to get so stinker? tacky by adding balls in there. <laughs> Excuse me. You're right. I didn't mean to. I know you're trying to class up the joint, so I'm very sorry. There's, there's a few oh, stinkers oh, that one in there. Right there? That, that one's a stinker. Mm. Stay away from that one. A stinker. I'm assuming that's anal, right? <laughs> no, no, he's talking about no, smelly vaginas. No, he's talking Either about way. stinkers. Either way, he's talking man. about Stank stinkers. Stank is a yeah. stinker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, if you're, if you're trying to get hard and complete the challenge, go to GetRoman.com forward slash Drinking Bros. That'll get you uh, boner pills. No doctor visit required. Answer a little five questionnaire thing from a doctor online mm -hmm. you don't have to show them your dick you don't have to tell them your problems it's called and telemedicine goddamn right it is uh get used to it get used <laughs> to it because it's it's going to be happening more and more there's a reason roman is better than viagra is they're sending it right to your house you don't have to go to your fucking doctor for this bullshit anymore get a fucking huge boner free shipping at roman get roman.com forward slash drinking bros today um, and that, that shit will be to you in two days, dude, in a discreet it's package that no one will know about. Your wife, your mistress, your kids, no one but you. Get a fucking boner on whether or not you get erectile but dysfunction or not. stay clear of them stinkers. Yeah, stay clear of them stinkers, bro. Go to GetRoman.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros today. Shut up. Next up, pot used. Uh, the, the, the pot use is reached an all-time high in March due to the quarantine. Marijuana dispensaries are reporting growth as high as 64% in March alone. However, we may have a problem. Pot smokers are being disproportionately affected by layoffs from the shutdown. Look, man, we got to protect our drug makers out there. Yeah. Um, they're the ones that are keeping us sane through all of this. You want to keep a healthy balance between supply and demand. That's what market economics is all about, right? Correct. So you don't want to fucking, if, you, if something affects your customer base, then it affects you as well. Yeah. Right. Jared, were you able to stock up on weed before all this bullshit started? No. You haven't really been smoking, though, the last couple of months. Not much. I haven't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't at all in a while. Yeah, Texas, they don't, they don't have uh, marijuana, right? <coughs> no. No, they don't. Not yet. Not yet. I think Austin will be the tipping. We could see it in the next couple of years. 
right? It's got to be probably on this next ballot, I would imagine. Is there a bill on 2020? It yeah, have I, to be. I'd have to look. I, 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 even I honestly think that uh, Congress needs to act soon. Well, your prediction that. was on another show that you think Trump is going to pass this in his next term. I think, yeah, yeah. I think that might be a that might be a move right before November to just to just go okay before if I want to yeah. steal because oh, okay. just think think about that like like there's something that is so widely wanted mm-hmm. that he has executive power to do. Yeah. All he like, has, to, all he has so, to do is sign an EO that removes it from the Schedule One narcotics thing, and yeah, then, and that then it that becomes a misdemeanor. What really eight yeah. percent, maybe eight percent vote over to him that never yeah. existed before? Yeah, it could. Yeah. Yeah. Just grab. And That's there's a lot true. of there's a lot of things he could do from a campaigning and marketing perspective right now too. He could say, look, we the federal government had to spend a shitload of money to bail everybody out because of this pandemic. This now is how we're, we're going to make yeah, it back. We're yeah. going we're gonna to create a brand new revenue source that's never existed before and then tie it to tax cuts somehow. Yeah. Like instead, yeah. Of, instead of raising taxes to make up for all this horse shit that's gone on the last six months, mm-hmm. we're just going to create a new product, basically. Yeah. I, and look, it, it would create a lot of jobs. <laughs> so I think it's smart. And, uh, it would create a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. If he did that right before the election, uh, a game he over. <laughs> Um, I think it'd be over. Um, speaking of executive orders, uh, Trump just signed one for the space order, which paves the way for uh, U.S. to mine the moon and Mars for minerals and water. Um, the executive order he signed ignores all the treaties that re- refer to uh, celestial bodies and space as global commons, uh, something that uh, we entirely agree with. Uh, the rest of the world can pretty much fuck off on mm-hmm. this. Like. No one owns the yeah. the real estate of, of these planets. No, man, that's fucking stupid. That's something we did no. uh, as part of a nuclear deal with Russia and other countries back in the day where right. we, we, we wouldn't test nukes in space. Um, but the American flag is still stuck in the, uh, in the moon because we're the only ones that have been there. It's right. the moon. Yeah. Uh, there's two types of countries, ones that have been to the moon and... And the ones that haven't. Everyone else. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, you guys, <laughs> if you, if you want to compete in that space... That's fine, but if you're not gonna contribute, then you can get fucked, dude. Right? Like this. That's that's like interstellar yeah. socialism. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. So so China, <laughs> China's been there. Uh, however, man has not been on the moon. No. Israel tried to get there last year, <laughs> and then their rocket crashed about 20 yards yep. from the moon, and then just crashed into the moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, I mean NASA. <laughs> if, you, if you remember, na- na- how many people were on that? <laughs> no one. It was unmanned. Yeah, it was unmanned. So. But uh, okay. na- 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 I was like, <laughs> what about yeah. the people? Na- yeah. NASA. <laughs> NASA did that because one of the uh, one of the engineers put in uh, feet instead of meters, and the rover slammed into the fuck. I think it was Mars. The rover slammed into Mars and buried itself like fifty feet underground. Shit. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so. It's a colossal <laughs> fuck up, you know. The United States, you we know. like the the inches and feet thing is, we may want to. Yeah, we may that wanna, was dumb. We yeah. may want to. We, we may want to look into a base ten system of measurement, <laughs> like every other country on yeah, Earth. Fair. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, but this thing, this is fucking stupid, man. Yeah, uh, I agree. And like, look, space isn't owned by anyone, no. so whoever gets there first, good luck. But you can already see what's going to happen there, right? And so, what are you yeah. Gonna, yeah, what are you going to do? The, the Ukraine opposes us mining the moon. It's like, okay, stop us with force. Yeah, you can yeah. go up there and on stop the us. As yeah, soon as you can go on the moon. And, us, yeah. But that's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. There's going to be two types of new warfare that happen. Mm-hmm. And they're not really new. They're just mapped onto a different location. So we're going to send people to the moon or Mars or Titan or whatever the fuck it is to mine minerals and shit right and it's going to be cheaper to leave them there and let them develop their own communities and have kids and and all that shit than it is to ship people back and forth correct yeah. S- yeah. especially from mars right. so uh those people are going to be born and their options are going to be mining mm-hmm. or something that supports mining right that is how you create class warfare or life life support yeah yeah that's how you create yeah. class but, class warfare is somebody stuck out there and they're sending all they know. It's like fucking uh, it's like Hunger Games. All they know is that they're sending shit back to the capital, which is Earth in this case. And all of a sudden they're going to hate us. We're going to hate them. They're going to have access to some of our ships because ships are going back and forth. They're going to fucking blow shit up or whatever the fucking case is. Right. Right. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's just like the same dumb shit over and over. Yeah, but again. this is is this also going to create space hippies? That are going to mm. tape themselves to moon rocks. I think so, man. And look, uh, the people, because there's, you know, there's a sign-up list for like the first 150 people or 300 people who will go to Mars. 
and live there and never come yeah. back. Mm -hmm. And um, surprisingly, there was over like five or six thousand people who entered and they were like, yeah, we'll go and never come back. Um, a lot of them Are were you kidding. There was like nine million people that said they would charge Area 51. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but but Ross, there is no shortage of idiots. Yeah, a lot of those people were hippies, Jared, who wanted to go to Mars. Who were like, "Yeah, fuck it, man, we can live off the off the land and see yeah. see where that goes." Obviously, yeah. So Obviously. eat red rock. It's a thing. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres is in trouble again. Ellen, who's basically known to everyone else as the nicest person on earth, is in trouble for suggesting She's the quarantine not is like jail. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, I heard. And I want your confirmation on this. Uh, she says, one thing that I've learned from being in quarantine is that people, this is like being in jail is what it is. It's mostly because I've been wearing the same clothes for 10 days and everyone in here is gay. Um, That's pretty Ooh. accurate. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. That's Jeez. a funny fucking joke. It's pretty funny. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how you can give her shit. I mean, yes, I guess you can compare it to jail, but. She's a comedian. She's on a comedic well, show. Is she yeah. saying she's everyone... a comedian. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Is she saying everyone in jail is, is she gay? gay? Yeah. You Who have cares? to turn gay then, you know, at that Who point. Cares? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the places Dude, we where... got to get over. We got to get over this fucking dude. Everything's off limits with comedy. Like, fuck off with this comedy censorship. Oh, my God. You hurt some people's feelings that are actually in jail yeah. that aren't gay. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're in jail. They fuck also <laughs> kill people or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you have a problem with how people in jail are being treated, then you have a problem. <laughs> in my opinion, you have a problem with the reason they're in jail. Because if they're in jail for <laughs> pedophilia or rape or murder or something like that, who gives two fucks what happens yeah. to them? Yeah. If they're in jail for weed, you're like, oh, that sucks. Like, well, then they shouldn't be in yeah, jail. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. dumb. If it sucks yeah. that they're in jail for what they did, they should not be in jail. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, ooh, man, what was I going to say about this? Well, I heard, well, Jer Jesse, you heard that uh, it's Ellen DeGeneres known, isn't. And it's been known for a long a time that she's actually a huge bitch and could possibly be the devil. Why? Really? Um, I don't know. There's just a bunch of stories. <laughs> Screaming uh, at assistance and things like yeah, that. Yeah, just behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes there's yeah. been like a bunch of stories that come out. This this comedian, Kevin Porter, actually put this tweet out asking for stories about Ellen. And every story that he got, he would donate $2 to the food bank. But it has to be a real story. And there are, because he knew there was so many. You're kidding. I didn't hear this. Yeah, so they got all kinds of stories, and he was like, they have to be real, obviously. So it's just <laughs> random stuff. Like, she has a very sensitive nose, so uh, everyone has to chew gum in this bowl that she has outside her room. If they don't, um, <laughs> she'll tell them that they smell. And then if they do smell, she, ha she has them go home and take a shower. She picks a new person every day that she hates, and then she'll just, like, pick up, pick on them. She gets waiters and waitresses fired for random shit, like their nails being chipped. Like, she'll write letters to restaurant owners having <laughs> really? these, like, waitresses fired. These oh are all the God. real ones. Um, she – there was a – at the Warner Brothers lot, there was a studio, like, a stage next to hers, and – one of the guys was having this birthday or something, his 50th birthday, and they were grilling steaks. And she had someone go out there and demand that they stop because she doesn't eat meat. Um, so they, like, shut huh. the whole thing down. Uh, I've, I've been involved in something like that before. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, if everything clears up uh, coronavirus-wise, we'll be at something like that in November. Be at something like November what? November the 1st, actually. It's National Vegan Day. Oh, that's right. That's right. In, Are you guys in Washington, D.C. Well, Tom, Street Bike Tommy. Yeah. Uh, Jared, do you know this plan of his? Which one? This is Jared's plan. Which oh, this one? is Jared's plan. I thought this he was came, No, Jared yeah. came up with this two years ago. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought it was Street so Bike Tommy. It? No. Yeah, go no, ahead. It's Tommy's. It's actually, Evan started it. Was oh, it Evan? really? Yeah, so it's like essentially yeah. we take a food truck like with barbecue maybe or maybe just get, take a bunch of Traegers out there and grill meat. Across the street from PETA In, while they're having at their headquarters. Yeah. Yeah, and we build, we bring huge <laughs> fans and just blow it into the fucking building. That might be a little much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? The fans are for us. I think we <laughs> should. Just, I think we should. We should just have a helicopter. And Dude, stuff. I don't understand though. Like, why would anybody, even if you're the head of Warner Brothers, if somebody, if I'm the head of Warner Brothers, and they're like, Ellen's mad that they're grilling states, I gotta tell Ellen to shut the fuck up. 
Like it's that it's that easy. Yeah, well, tell that's Ellen the thing about off. that's the thing about how she's able to get away with all of this is because no one's gonna tell Ellen shut yeah. the fuck Why? up. Yeah. Well, uh, they, they you just would, don't. Jared, and, and that's then, why and then you've I'd, never been and then anywhere as the near. the head her. of Warner Brothers, yeah, I'd go on camera and go, "Hey, I had to tell Ellen <laughs> to shut the fuck up today because she was acting like an <laughs> asshole." Like, what yeah. are you gonna do? Get on your show and be like, "Oh, I, I didn't want them to have fun because I was upset." Like, no, you could completely take away their power by beating mm. them to the punch. Why don't we just start a new podcast where we? It's called Fuck Ellen. Dude, yeah, I would be yeah. totally oh, love to do that. And you just read just tell those these stories. stories. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah, they don't great. have one and already. And just have those people come on the show and yeah. you interview them. Well, actually, I would like to have Kevin. We'll, we'll just talk to Kevin Porter. We'll be like, dude, exactly. give us yeah, all the on. stories. Yeah, yeah, he ended up... Um, he isn't he a ginger, though? Is he? Ew. Ew. No, we're not doing that. Never mind. We cannot do that. But... Uh, from the stories that were real, $600 got uh, donated. No shit. Yeah. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. So there's that a means 300 l- stories were Thank real. Thank you. Exactly. So I, I'll just leave it there. That's a good podcast. I mean, that's a. That's 300 episodes. That's 300 episodes. 300 episodes right there. And kids. if she's sure to do more shit between now and then, as a matter oh, of fact, easily. Absolutely. Once you publish that, anybody that's ever suffered at her hands. Oh, yeah. Right, let's start that. Let's record a fuck Ellen episode this I'm week. I'm so next week. into it. Or Ellen's the, <laughs> Ellen's the devil or something like this because uh, we'll people come up need with to it, know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, next up, we got killclipscbd.com. Look, if you have worked oh, like for Ellen or thinking about working for Ellen, you should take uh, a can of, of Kill Cliff CBD and take it straight to the dome. Um, is I that, like they got new little, koozies? I like these koozies because they fit the Kill Cliff. And then when you're done with that, you get your white claw in there. Same size. It's freaking perfect, Same dude. Same size that Kill Cliff. As, a, as a white claw. Uh, go to killcliffcbd.com. 25 milligrams in every single can. Don't worry if you're out there and you're a military or first responder. You will not piss hot for this. There's nothing in there, uh, no THC, no nothing. Uh, you've got to get drug tested out there. There's no carbs, no sugars also. It's the best in the biz. 30% off with the promo code DRINKINGBROS at KillCliffCBD.com. 25 milligrams in every single can. And uh, they're the only ones out there doing it, the only ones that we trust. Go to KillCliffCBD.com today, promo code DRINKINGBROS. 30% off and free shipping. Shit's cheap as fuck, man, and it's the best. Everybody's drinking this shit. It's, we, we get tagged in it every day, and I love it. Um, Next up, Rob Lowe and Ryan Murphy, who's the, the writer of, uh, and producer of American Horror Story, Glee. Uh, he did the O.J. Simpson one. Real, he's, doing the, uh, um, uh, he's doing the new one with Linda Tripp, who <laughs> just died, called Impeachments, about uh, Monica Lewinsky. They are working on a Tiger King project. Um, this is the second one that is in production. Rob Lowe uh, posted a picture of him dressed as Joe Exotic with the caption, Rob Exotic, update, Ryan Murphy and I will be developing our version of this insane story. Stay tuned. Um, I have not heard his name tossed around in this, (coughs) but Rob Lowe would would be a great Joe Exotic as well, I think. You think? I think so. He's thin, um, and he's kind of got that dainty frame. He's a little too attractive for this role. That's what I think. They're going to have to ugly him up a little bit. But, uh, you know, we talked about the other one a a couple weeks ago with Kate McKinnon. No, you know who would be a good one? Who is you know the the blonde friend in Eastbound and Down? Oh, Steve Stevie the, or whatever. The blonde no. friend? No. Yeah, the like his friend. Yeah, his yeah, friend yeah, that's yeah. like Stevie. Yeah, he's okay. also he's in he's in the Righteous Gemstones too. He plays uh, Edie's uh, boyfriend. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. He yeah, would be a fucking great Joe. Yeah, he'd be yeah, good. Yeah, man, he'd be good. He would. He could probably kill it too. The problem with this, so again, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Kate McKinnon bought the rights to the podcast where she's playing that bitch Carol Baskin. Um, <coughs> my thing is this: is by the time these actually go to production mm-hmm. and shot and then come out, it'll be another year from now. Everybody's already it, getting be tired over. of Tiger yeah. King yeah. right now and the We're memes and all that it. shit. Like, right? But, but. Honestly, if they were smart. Yeah. What, Dan? Go ahead. What, Dan? Well, I was going to say, if they were smart, Netflix could have launched this as an original movie first and not said shit. Just said, hey, this is an original movie. It would have gotten a bunch of steam, Mm. just like fucking Quiet Place did. And then a month later, they go, oh, by the way, this is fucking real. Here's Tiger King. They would have fucking... Yeah, what did they do that with? Uh, None of these Yeah, but I'll tell you why that you couldn't do that. The the characters in Tiger King... I've talked about this with Jesse. uh, The characters in Tiger King are so unbelievable 
that I think a, a studio executive would say, all right, so you're going to tell me there's a gay fucking um, guy who, who has two husbands, hired a fake country band to, to record videos, song. Like, all of this sounds so unbelievable. I don't know that the, the American audience that's why have, bought this that's as why a movie. Would be, I don't know that. I, I, I think it would have been a, I think it would have been a cult. I yeah. think it would have it even if they didn't watch it first. And that's they why would go you back only watch it afterwards. That's, yeah. that's the thing. That's why you only space it out in a month. Yeah. Yeah. You release right. the movie first, and then and then yeah. it becomes a landslide of everybody back into it. But none like, of these networks. Every time, I don't think they even, knew. Even I don't the, think they no, knew. This even was if they be this did big. know, even even the premium networks fucking suck. Yeah. at doing this shit. And there's two major examples from the last calendar year or the last full year. So the first one is Game of Thrones. Yep. Game of Thrones ended. The last episode came out, and the next day, literally the next day, HBO Go or HBO Plus, their their streaming service lost thirty mm-hmm. percent of its customer base in right. one fucking day. <laughs> right, right. And the same thing happened with Disney when they when the man they put the Mandalorian out just in a vacuum with uh-huh. no, no other new content. Right. It, uh, yes. All okay. those episodes played, yeah, and it yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. all right, now what? Like you can't do that anymore. You have to stack, 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 and I don't think there can be more than like a two week gap between seasons now. I, I like agree. There's no more fall and yeah. spring season, and the summer's yeah. off. Like that shit doesn't. And if 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 old school entertainment like SNL, for example, doesn't get with that new model or provide some other kind of entertainment in the summertime, they're fucked. The only problem is, so you take a show as great as Ozark. I don't know if you're watching that one, Jared, but uh, Ozark with Jason Bateman is so great. They're turning around. I watched the first season. I'm not into it. Yeah, I, I, and I understand why you were you were talking about it's too similar to Breaking Bad or or that storyline. Yeah, line. it is. It, it's just it's just you know you've you've taken the same kind of story and I, put yeah, it in a different I, region. And I, and oh, I get yeah, that. And I, I know you have so much other content to watch right now. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> he's ra- he's trying to raise a family of chickens right now. Oh, right? Yeah, of I gave I gave I gave Charlie Classic a challenge. Okay. Uh, oh God. Today and it's you have to get. And if you guys want to take the challenge, you but by all means take the challenge, please. You have to get super fucking stoned, and and watch uh, Aftermath with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger on Netflix, and try and make sense of that movie. Oh, God. I'll do. I will do that tonight. Yes. Uh, challenge. Please, please, accepted. because I want to hear. I want to hear you guys. If you watch this movie fucked up, you're gonna. It's gonna end, and you're gonna go. I don't fucking understand what just happened. <laughs> what is life? Yeah, maybe yeah. I, maybe I should just go live on there you uh, go. Instagram, dude. Go ahead. You have to get, yeah. dude, Dan. You have to go edible and everything. Like you have to get fucked up, let it kick in, and then start aftermath on Netflix, and just then contemplate what you just watched. I'm gonna go after you watched. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go lean and weed. Ooh, okay. So Charlie, nice Charlie oh, Classic yeah. is filming himself do the the aftermath oh, challenge. Oh shit! You guys tonight. should go live uh, together. That's great. That's great. Uh, big fan. <laughs> yeah, you guys could go live together and hook it up. Uh, mm. We did that. It's fun. Those man. two energies. I don't know how that would work it, together. You're just, dude. It's. I'm not going to tell you anything about the movie, but it, it was made last year. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the lead. Oh, and it's you're new. Just like, Whoa, yeah. What the mm. fuck? Mm. Yeah. yeah, and it's a net. It's a Netflix original too. Oh, so really? Like, it was a big. It was a big budget movie, but. Dude, you're going to go, what the fuck? Let me find out the answer to so, that. I got to see who made this movie now. Now now, now my curiosity is peaked. This by is the, a new movie. By the way, Joe Exotic's husband says that he wants either Channing Tatum or Shia LaBeouf. To is that Maldonado? To play. No, or Maldonado's dead. Maldonado's the one that shot himself in the head, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. that's right. So it's Passage. And Passage is the one with passage the fucked up. The new, no, but he's Passage got his shit is the fixed. newest one. So Passage okay. is the guy that he's with right now. John Finley. I mean, is the guy. Te- Finley is the guy with no is the guy with no teeth. Um, Channing Tatum already kind of played that role. Do you remember the fuckboy at the very the end, end that's still yeah. with him? Yeah, you're right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, Do you remember that? So yeah. I'm gonna. You can't have two separate conversations here, Jesse. But I know, um, I'm just yeah. trying I'm to going to, uh, to Dan. I'm gonna go down this cast list here for Aftermath. Schwarzenegger, <laughs> Scoot McNary. Uh, he's always so weird to me in movies, man, where it's just, it just doesn't really fit um, in movies. Maggie Grace. I love Maggie Grace. She's in that, the blonde. Uh, yep. All right. I mean, I'm definitely not going to watch it, but Dan will. And uh, that's kind of You got to take the challenge. That's your three stars on this one. Um, you got to take the challenge, so, dude. So, Jared, let me ask you this. It is listed under three categories on IMDb. Drama, horror, and sci-fi. Does that fit? Dylan Passage. No. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, not, it's not a drama. It's not a. Mm-hmm. Is it a horror film? Dude, I'm. So I'm gonna, gonna tell you. Like, I mean, it's it's without you and Jesse doing it, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little hard. I mean, Dan does understand the makeup of a movie. You gotta tell me that in this film. Act one never ends. <laughs> okay. Sounds great. <laughs> so I'll, Sounds perfect. I'll read the storyline for the audience. By the here. way, the, bud- the budget was ten point five million, and the uh, box office was six hundred seventy four thousand. Yikes! Oh, <laughs> Definitely didn't make its boy. money back. Oh boy! Oh, the story. It, let me read. That's you. a battlefield. I'll read right the there. storyline to the audience here. Two strangers' <laughs> lives become inextricably bound together after a devastating plane crash. Inspired by actual events, Jared? This is a true story? Wow. Aftermath, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Aftermath tells a story of guilt and revenge after an air traffic controller's <laughs> error causes the death of a construction foreman's wife and daughter. Um, so, obviously, Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is playing the construction foreman. And <laughs> Scoot McNary is Bro, playing. you just have to You're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? So what does he do? Movie? Build a house around the guy? Yeah, is he is he building a house for his, yeah, his wife and kids? He, and then he, no, he pull, crashes he pull, in he, and kills them. He pulls up on his block and he builds a trebuchet and he's just launching Bro, rocks. Bro, I'm telling you <laughs> the entire the entire movie you're going, What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Scoot McNary. And that's why that's why this challenge is really funny because I want to know I want to know what your consensus is after watching it super fucking high. <laughs> Man, <laughs> because I, I'm in, <laughs> and and then you tell me tell me if you agree with me that you feel like in this story they never left Act One. Okay, so I'd say what uh, we'll set this for. The, come on, you know, uh, let's do next Wednesday's episode. All of us will have watched yeah. it by that, and we can talk about aftermath. <laughs> yes. Uh, last aftermath. but not least, uh, speaking of Tiger King, a new special is closer than we thought. Uh, TMZ investigates Tiger King. What really went down? It's going to air April thirteenth, which is a Monday, and we'll That's feature next Monday. Next Monday is we're really close to this. Well. Um, <laughs> TMZ just posted that video of Carol Baskin's current husband like talking for 10 minutes yesterday about how upset Carol was about the production and how they were frauded by the director and sure. yeah, blah, blah, so blah, blah, blah. I bet they were. This is going to feature Harvey <laughs> Levin the the uh the guy who's always drinking out of the the straw, the bendy straws yeah. on the Tell TMZ. me tell me what's going on team. What'd you find out today? <laughs> yeah. oh, really? Well, well, where's where's incredible. Oh, Thank awesome. You. Uh, oh. The show will be an hour long, and it will probably be rich. one of the most watched things on Fox other than football, I one would imagine. Uh, TMZ says the special will explore the outstanding questions about whether or not Joe Exotic is guilty. Uh, additionally, the doc will f- uh, provide further investigative uh, remarks regarding the disappearance of Carol Baskin's wealthy previous husband, Justice for John to, or Don. We need Don, Don back. Lewis. Yeah, his attorney yeah. actually said yesterday that there, that the sheriff has no choice but to investigate now. And they've opened it yeah. up. So they've opened up the case, and they are going to investigate. Yeah. And Carol but is man, suing are people, everybody. Everybody's trying to cash in on these motherfuckers Carol's right now. Carol's suing everybody? Yeah. 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 It's I mean, just what she does, yeah. right? Like, even in the whole show, she was just kept suing people. Yeah. Yeah. My question is... How many more of these dumb white trash hillbilly slash crackheads I know. are gonna get some some crew comes <laughs> like, hey, we want to do a documentary and all your fucking drug dealing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or whatever the fuck your murder for hire plot that you may or may not have been involved in. Like all right, Big cool. Tigers. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Million, let's though, do like, it. We're, we're not I'm not I mean un, I'm not under oath, am I? I'm like, no, but that's a be, fucking to camera be fair. right yeah, now. Yeah, what yeah, a, yeah. What a fucking strike it fucking rich, though. Like, like that director going in to mm. make a film about the reptile trade and then oh. coming across this. Like, holy shit. Yeah. It was perfect. It's everything you could ask for as far as making a documentary. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, all yeah. the twists and turns, all the fucking personality. It is. There's now they're going to drive it into the ground yeah. here. Uh, There's a show called Dope that's on Netflix. It's yes. not a show. I guess it's. I guess it's a show. I mean. But it's like uh, they follow around drug dealers, or they ride with them yeah. in the car as they sell their drugs and all this other horse shit. Yeah. And it's like they blur their faces out. Motherfucker, I know the city that you're in by the yeah. landscape, yeah. and I, now I know what kind of car you drive and what your voice sounds like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and all of that info is going over to the um, police. Yeah. No, I mean, they, the police I, can watch it on Netflix. You can't, if you're a fucking producer of a show like that, you can't be like, look, all you got to do is sign this waiver and the cops can't get to you. Because yeah. that's not a thing. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 
Yeah. If we were smart and we want to cash in on this right now, there's one thing that Tiger King would make a fucking spectacular production of. What's that? And that would be a, a Broadway musical. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you sold yeah, the rights to would, that. It would be like. Tiger King the musical. It would be like Run, Ronnie, Run. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Have yeah, you seen, yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah. Run, Ronnie, Run, <laughs> yes. right? With David Cross. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So, yeah. you know when they did the fucking play version and Manny yes. Patinkin played uh-huh. him? Oh, <laughs> oh man, it, so fucking good! I gotta be honest, I could see Beat Coop, sing- Bradley Cooper coming back. He's singing oh, about yeah. he's God. singing about how the police are always trying to brutalize him and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all are brutalizing me. me. The Tiger King Broadway musical would be the greatest fucking. Bradley production. Cooper would go back to Broadway yeah. in a second oh, to do he that. Would. <laughs> uh, He'd play the tiger though with no makeup or any costume. Uh, pause. Pause yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, this is the point in the show we get to the Drinking Bro of the Week. Um, this one was submitted by John from Michigan, a member of Drinking Bros for a year. He is naming and nominating uh, David Stewart, Brandon Garabrantz, and Adam Wolf. Uh, he says, hey, guys, I just submitted for Drinking Bro of the Week, and I wanted to say that listening to the show has helped me and my close friends out. Not only is it the best entertainment all the way around, but it has also helped me through some really hard times. I realize I'm not alone, and there's a lot of other vets like there out me, uh, out, out there, there like, like me. me. I'm going to add that word <clears throat> in there for you, and uh, have have been through way worse, and were able to pick our heads up and move forward. And I don't know that I'm the only one who feels like that way either. <laughs> uh, whether or not you pick my drinking bro of the week. I just want you to know that I appreciate you guys. And I never imagined that just listening to a podcast um, with a bunch of like-minded individuals could help boost me up. Cheers, motherfuckers, is what he says. Nice. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. All right. I don't know if that language is necessary. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I say it's mandatory. Oh, wow, come on. Um, Listen, Dan. Thank you. You got to get on that on that assignment tonight. You know, I'm. Don't worry about me, dude. I mean, I was gonna be high don't shit anyway. Worry about me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I just don't have to choose. Aftermath. <laughs> aftermath on Netflix. The, the aftermath only, of aftermath. Yeah. The only difference is now I don't have to look for what I'm going to watch when I'm super high. There you yeah, go. Yeah, you're good to go. Perfect. Yeah. Good yes. to go. Yeah. And we are uh, good to get out of here. Uh, for D'Anthony D'Anthony Holloway, Jared Taylor, Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everyone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>